Hey guys, so today I just wanted to go through really quickly and talk about the plants that I'm bringing into college and maybe give you some ideas on plants in general that you can bring to college that would make nice indoor plants if you're living on campus in a dorm. Um, dorm living is pretty confined, pretty small. I usually don't have a lot of window space. So, but you, I have one window, so I know that I'll have some light coming in, obviously, and that, um, you know, so I'll have a space for these plants. If you don't, you can always get artificial lighting, um, though, I mean, it's just kind of a hassle, and it's a little bit expensive, but, you know, it's the price you pay for, for nice plants. <laughs> um, I'm bringing some succulents that I have. These are cuttings. Uh... Succulents, as you know, if you've watched my videos or if you know anything really about succulents at all, so they're very hardy, very adaptable plants, uh, and so they just make really good indoor plants, especially due to the fact that most succulents come from Africa, um, and it's a very dry part in Africa at that. So, um, yeah, this is, I have some golem jade, and... Um, I have two, and these all came from like one cutting, or I think actually just a leaf, and then it kind of spread, and I have these little babies coming up, um, so I'm pretty excited. This is a Ming Jade, and this is a cutting that I took probably around maybe one to two weeks ago, and when I transplanted it about one or two days ago, it was already uh, rooted a little bit. It had one giant, or not giant root, but it had one significantly noticeable root and then a bunch of other ones that were coming up and so hopefully it's continuing to do that and group so it can actually grow you know be healthy and stuff and I but for one to two weeks of growth that is a pretty insanely good for a cutting so just again to show you that these make uh, good plants and that you don't need to go out and buy you know some really expensive ones if you have it you can do always do cuttings and uh you know, if you're afraid to lose a plant, well, maybe you can take a cutting and grow that and bring that to college instead. And so if you lose that, it's not such of a big deal. These are some other Crusula um, succulents that I have. And I like these ones. I got these from cuttings too. And they are uh, really upright in growth. Uh, this type of succulent, if you can tell, there's another baby. And um, but unlike the Gollum Jade, it's more of a ground cover it likes to really fill up uh, the space that it's growing in. If I left this unchecked for you know however long it would months or a year it would definitely less than a year it would definitely fill up this small pot with all sorts of stuff and it would just be full and I'm looking for more of a ground cover or not ground cover I'm looking for the opposite I'm looking for more for like a kind of bonsai like look so I'm going to be trimming that and so the plant can just focus on these two main shoots and maybe that one anyways so some other plants that would also make good uh, house plants well you can do you know the research yourself but of course I will give you some ideas of what I know uh, bamboo makes a really good uh, house plant there it Bamboo is also very easy to take care of and very fast growing. It doesn't, unlike succulents, actually doesn't require a lot of light. So, um, in a way, it's almost easier to take care of, but also you get a little bit less, in my opinion. You don't really get flowers. Um, you don't get so many new shoots that you can grow. It is fast growing, but and you can do cuttings off of it, but succulents and bamboo it's just totally different uh, the rate of growth but that being said bamboo is very nice and if you are gonna have a plant um, which I think you should just because they're a nice home decor and you know they're just it's I don't know it's more you can make you more at nature one with nature I guess <laughs> that's the hippie side of me talking but yeah um, bamboo um, you can do terrariums, a small one, if you want. Um, polka dot plants make good terrarium species. Ferns, moss, miniature ferns and moss. Those all make good things to put in terrariums. Terrariums are also very easy to take care of. You usually just mist them, uh, you know, and then put lid on, and then it will pretty much 
take care of itself. It's almost like a small ecosystem. So depending on how tight it is and how often, you know, on a couple of different factors, how often uh, you missed it, how much you missed it, how often you actually open it, open the system, and possibly the weather uh, or temperature and stuff, you know, you won't have to miss very often. Um, so yeah, very low care. Uh, also, the things that I just described, you know, moss, ferns, those don't require a lot of light. Um, neither do polka dot plants, really, but they do require some light. Some light. Um, and so, yeah, uh, those, so those are my top three plants that I would probably suggest bringing to a uh, dorm. Um, there might be other better ones. Uh, of course, you can always try some indoor bonsai, like maybe a ficus or an olive tree or something along those lines. Um, but those ones do require a little more care and such. So, yeah, thank you for watching and um, stay tuned. And please comment, subscribe, and like um, to show support for my channel. So, thank you.